Hello, this is Eric Martin. We're going to do a video on SOLIDWORK templates. This is a small remake of a video I made a few months back. Hopefully this video will be a little smoother, more efficient, and best of all, hopefully be very useful to you. I'm going to describe how to change settings for a template, describe how to save a template um, in what I think is a good location, and then show how to make SOLIDWORKS find the templates that you have just created. I'm going to open up a new SOLIDWORKS part. Here at the top bar we see new. And our default setting here is usually the novice setting where we just have a part, assembly, and drawing. If I click on the advanced button we can see that we have a tutorial tab and a templates tab. We go back to novice and we are just going to uh, select a part and we're going to hit OK and here is our new part file. A couple things that you might notice is here at the bottom right we have our document units which is IPS or inch pound sec second. I can click on that and I can change between uh, MKS, millimeter, gram second and so forth. I also have an option here to edit the document units. This is one place I can edit the document units. Or another location is at the top toolbar under options. We have two tabs. One's called system options and the other one's called document properties. System options are system wide. They don't change from file to file. They do change from installation to installation on different computers. And we'll talk about system options in a few minutes. Uh, for now, we're going to talk about document properties. These properties are um, are all set in the template. So every time you want to make a change um, in a template, you can go through these different uh, document properties and change things such as your drafting standard, your grids and snaps, your units, and so forth. One of the things I did in my tips and tricks video was to turn my planes on and off by typing the P key. I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that right now. What I didn't do in that video is I didn't show you how to make a tem template with it. Um, and that is something we want to do. We want to have these planes turning on and off by typing the P key. Um, and we want to have that feature saved in each uh, file that we open. So to make that uh, set, I go into my customize menu under keyboard, again I'm going to go quickly here, under keyboard I'm going to type planes and here we see planes I'm going to add the shortcut P hit OK and I'm going to hit my P key nothing will happen I need to save, or I'm, I need to select my planes, top, front, and right, and then click on this little sunglasses, eyeglasses icon, where it says show, and select somewhere else. Now we can see those planes are active. Now when I type my P key, these planes are now showing. And that's how I want my template to be. I want to have my templates turning on, or my, my files. Um, opening with my plane showing. It's a personal preference. I think it's a good idea. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to change the document units. I mentioned that there was a spot down here where we can uh, pull up the document units, where we can edit units. And when we do that, we can see that we can quickly come to our units um, from that screen as opposed to selecting options and then coming to our document properties and coming to our units. So for this file, for my template, I'm going to make an inch template. I'm going to have three decimal places for my length. And I'm also going to have one decimal place for my angle. I'm going to click OK. Now my template is ready to be saved. I've got my planes turning on and off, and I've got inch pound second, and I have document units with the length of three decimal places, an angle with one decimal place. 
and now I'm ready to save my template. I'm going to come to the top where we have the save and click on the pull drop down menu, click save as. And when I go to save as, it defaults as a part file. We're going to change this to a template file and here near the top we see part templates PRTDOT. Let's we'll select that. That's just a part template. And uh, the default location will be SOLIDWORKS 2015. That's the version I'm using. It's default location. I'd like to change that location to a spot on my um, in a folder that I keep on the cloud. I use Google Drive. There's SkyDrive, OneDrive, Dropbox. There's a handful of different cloud services. I, I like to keep it on the cloud so that if I use SOLIDWORKS on a different computer, my templates are located on that computer as well. And I can make one change and all the templates are changed at the same time. So I'm going to look on my desktop. And I've got a shortcut to my Google Drive. And I also have a folder within my Google Drive called SOLIDWORKS Files. And here I have a folder called Martin Templates. I'm going to name this template part inch. And click on save. And now this is saved as a part inch. Um, if I want to make a millimeter um, template as well, I can go ahead and click millimeter, gram second. I can also change my document units. We probably don't want three decimal places if we're using millimeter gram seconds. So I'm going to change this back to two decimal places. And click OK. And now again I'm going to save this as another template. So here at the top, drop down menu, save as. And I have my part templates. I'm going to save this as part-mm and click on save that we have our templates made, we want to see if SolidWorks can look for those templates. So I'm going to close this file and I'm going to come back to new and when I come back to new here I give it my novice screen. I'm going to go to my advanced screen and I don't have my part inch or part millimeter files. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to make a system setting change. So here at the top of the drop down menu under options, I now see my system options. Remember previously we had system options and document options. Now we just have system options because we do not have a document open. And what we're going to look for is we're going to look for file locations. When I click on file locations, we see um, a couple of folders that SOLIDWORKS is looking for its templates. This is the 2015 uh, templates, and then it also has the tutorial templates. What we do not see is the folder for our templates that we just created, so we are going to need to add those. I'm going to click on add, and when that happens, if I didn't uh, close SOLIDWORKS and reopen it, it probably will have um, the location that we just saved the previous templates. Right here, Martin template, it's already located there. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to hit OK down here. Uh, before we do, we can see that Martin templates has been added. Now click OK at the bottom. It's going to ask me if I want to make the change to the file path, and the answer is yes. And there it is. So now when I go ahead and click on the new document, again if I'm in the advanced, if I'm in the novice I don't see anything different, but when I go to advanced I see the three tabs. These were the original SOLIDWORKS templates, these are tutorial templates, and here are the two templates that I uh, made. And so I'm going to go to my part inch template, click OK, and look at that, we see that my drawing planes are showing. I can turn up the drawing planes on and off with the P button. And then I can come down here in my inch pound second. 
and look at my document units and I notice that they are three decimal places like I made the change and so therefore we have successfully made a new template and have made SOLIDWORKS see that template whenever we want to start a new file.